Okay, so I just added some photos, and I'll show you a little sample. So I scroll up the photos, and I'll choose. Um, I'll choose whatever, and then there's Family Guy. As you can see, it changed from the previous generations. It used to be white, now it's black. Click there, and there's like some Family Guy pictures, I guess. You simply just go through the pictures using fast forward and rewind buttons, or you can scroll. Um, I went to the Grand Prix a long time ago, and I got some nice pictures. Yeah, so Mustang, you know, and also some Michael Jordan photos. And I also have these photos from Edmonton Oilers autograph session, you know, Andrew Cogliano. Yeah, and next, our podcast, you know, pretty self explanatory, you basically get videos and some audio off the iTunes and then you put it in here I think all of them are free I'm not so sure about that but there's extras clocks you can just basically add clocks just click add calendar it looks the same actually from the previous generations contacts Alarms. You could set an alarm or you could put a sleep timer. So, like, you put a time and then it'll turn off your iPod. You got games. You got your three different games. There's normal default games, but I'm not going to go into detail because it might take a while. So, you got notes. You can just basically add notes from your Mac or PC. Screen lock, you know, it looks different. So, let's put lock. I'm just going to put my code in. Okay, I locked it. Okay, so it's unlocked. Now settings, this is very important. Um, you got your about. Shows you how much stuff you have, so. Uh, the blue chunk, the light one right there I'm pointing to, it's hard to see, is my audio, this is video photo other so it says here you got 1659 songs 163 videos and 66 photos and three games which are those default games and you got your serial number model and the virgin version oh, that was gross but you got your version which is your uh, which tells you your firmware and what kind of computer you're using. So it says 1.1.2 PC, which is Windows. And shuffle, pretty simple. You just shuffle songs. Repeat, if you want to repeat one song or repeat all the songs in your current playlist. Main menu, basically check off what you want to put in your main menu. Uh, music menu, they also added this. You check off what you want in your music menu, so I think I have all of them right now. Volume limit, pretty self-explanatory. You set the volume limit and what you want it to be. And then you just press the center button to do it. Backlight, how many seconds you want, or you can turn it off for good or whatever. Brightness, you know, you got you turn up. Okay, that's a hundred percent. This is zero percent. I usually keep it in the middle. There we go. Audiobooks. So I have no clue what that does because I don't have any. Equalizer. You choose what kind of. Like you want your music to sound. If you're if you mostly listen to hip hop, I suggest you choose hip hop. But I have a, a variety of music on my iPod. Sound check. Um, you could use the original volume level. I'll just keep it on off because it uses the original volume volume level level from each song. Clicker, you know, like this noise. You could turn it on. It's on already. Turned off. You can't hear anything. Date time. You know, obviously, just choose your date and time. You know, time zone, stuff like that. Oh, they actually changed it, too. See, uh, it's actually showing a map. So I'm going to go back to Calgary because I live in Utah. Sort by your contact names. Language, choose your language, obviously. Uh, legal rights, some stuff. And that's it. If you want to reset your settings, put it to factory settings, like with the way you bought your iPod, just click reset settings. 
And obviously shuffle songs. You click on that. It'll make it'll shuffle your song. So yeah, it's pretty much it. I'm running time running out of time on this video. So yeah, hope you enjoy this. Also in the box it comes with uh obviously the box and nice soft uh, padding. Great design by Apple. And this tab you pull out that that comes with a packet with your startup guide and whatnot. You know, shit like that. And your Apple stickers somewhere in here. And right there. And it mainly comes with your dog adapter, you know, uh, USB port and headphone jack. The weird thing is that, I mean, not the headphone jack, your headphone itself. The weird thing is that. This is like smaller compared to the old one, so yeah, that's what's basically in the box.